Hey everyone, Toka Rose here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the new furniture pack that Toka Boca just released. Um, I'm super excited. But wait, let me fill you in. Alright, since there was so much new furniture to go through, I went ahead and just did a really sped up video of me going through everything. And yeah, so enjoy the music! Alright, so I finished sorting through everything, and I just wanted to remind you guys that this is not a new pack. This is a pack that has already come out, but it's back. And so, I'm making this review so that if you weren't here, or if you couldn't get it, um, 
last time it was here it's back you can get it and i'm going to show you everything that's in it so that way you can see if it's worth your money you know okay so this i wanted to make the diner because that's what really stood out to me like the cute little hello kitty diner i don't know there's something about it so in the food and drink section there's milkshakes and hamburgers and fries so you can put that in your little you know stand and so that's really cool and then you have like booths and like chairs and like the walls and the floors they just match the theme and so right now i'm just working on this diner area and then with every room i'm just going to do like a different theme with whatever furniture i find it's not going to be coordinated at all it's not going to be very good because i'm just playing around with the furniture but i just want to show you guys some stuff that you can make with this pack <laughs> Okay, so I'm almost done with like this diner area and I think it's actually looking pretty cute. I love how there's a dishwasher incorporated into this sink and I was just playing around with all the new stuff. Um, I love all the LED signs, super cool. Um, I love the milkshakes, like you can have, or are they boba? I don't know, someone correct me. I love those too, so yeah. All right, new room, new possibilities. So for this room, I wanted it to be the spa area, but like, I just don't know like if I wanted it to be like a bathroom, but I saw this like spa tub thing. And so I wanted to make it look like a spa. So yeah, um, I was just kind of using all the random things I could find because I don't know, I just wanted to see how everything would go with the new items. hello kitty themed bedroom so i'm gonna use this bed i'm gonna use like the pink wardrobe i'm trying to use mostly all the new furniture and less furniture pieces i already have so that way i can see like what they all look like together but obviously i still have to use some of the furniture packs that aren't in this furniture pack so that way i can see how the room ties together but um like as you can see this side table is not with this pack but you know i needed a side table so yeah so we're doing 
this room and then the last room is going to be another bedroom but it's going to be like a different style All right, so I'm almost done with this Hello Kitty bedroom. I'm just adding some final decorations, like the final touch that just makes everything kind of come together. And so, yeah. All right, as you guys can see, we're on the final room, which is gonna be like a completely different aesthetic from the other room we did, completely different style and everything. And I thought I wanted to use this bed and then match it with the, you know, wardrobe. But the wardrobe looks like a coffin and that's not the style I was going for. And the vanity looks, you know, like a bat. So that's also not the style I was going for. So I'm trying to find the style that I'm going for. But eventually I settled on the like race car bed, which is super cool. I mean, honestly, hook me up with that. Um, and then, <laughs> I wanted to change the floors and the walls because it didn't match with the bed anymore. And then for the closet, I wanted something like this and I didn't want there to be like doors, you know, so not doors, like, you know, like cabinet doors that like, yeah, <laughs> that they open and close. I, I just wanted it to be like a clean shelf kind of look. And then I wanted there to be like a rack for the clothes and then i decided that i wanted a desk like halfway through the build and i was like you know what i haven't used a desk i want to use a desk we're going to use a desk so we're sticking to this theme why does this carpet remind me of angry birds i don't know but we're sticking to the theme obviously i like to have one light in every room and one like plant in every room just that might not make sense but like just one c pop of color or green in one light that's how i know my room is like kind of complete is when there's a light and there's a pop of color and it can be any color so like green it just kind of ties in the you know build anyway someone explained to me why i used a pink pillow in this room and not in the literal pink themed room i don't know um that was not a smart move on my part but i did end up taking this board that was in the pink room and putting it in here and then using the like sewing like craft board in the pink room if that you know makes sense <laughs> All right, so here it is, the final four rooms that we um, have done. It's been quite a journey, but I hope you guys like it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked the video, go ahead and like it. If you'd like to see more of my content, go ahead and subscribe. And if you'd like to see a specific video in general, whether it's a role play or it's a build, go ahead and, and comment and I will try and make that video happen. But otherwise, I hope you have a great rest of your day and yeah, bye!